Hey you guys, what's up? Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some of that ba very basic, basic coding I was telling you guys about. Um, it, I'm going to show you a few things like, you know, how to it, how to do binding and all that. Um, and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of how I'm doing stuff like my super jump and my sliding script. But uh, I don't want to completely give it away because then it's more like I made it and you guys are just kind of watching the videos and taking credit, you know? So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so just to go ahead and get the basics down, I'm going to show you guys how to enable your console. You're going to press escape, go to options, keyboard, advance, and then uh, check this box that says enable developer console. Press OK and then OK. Now there's, there's a key uh, right below escape and it's got like a little squiggly line sort of thing. You want to click that and you'll have your console open. Now, just to go ahead and show you the kind of stuff that the console can do, you can type in NO uh, clip. You can type in NO clip, sorry, and, and press enter. What that'll do is it'll make it so you can fly around the room and, uh, you know, you, you won't be stopped by doors or anything. That's helpful if you're stuck, if you're on the ground and, uh, you know, like if you're testing a map or something and you fall out of the map, you can just no clip and get back to where you need to be. So what I'm going to go ahead and show you though is I'm going to show you how to make it so that instead of having to open up the console every time you want to no clip, you can just tap a button and it'll, uh, you know, it'll enable it for you. Uh, just just like this right here where I can no clip and then press V again and it'll go right back to it. So we're going to open up the console and we're going to type in bind V no clip. Pretty simple, right? Alright, now every time you tap V, you can just fly around like this and uh, then you'll be no clipping. It's decently simple and you can actually end up doing a lot with this if you learn how to use the alias, which is a little bit more complicated, but can also be very helpful to use. So you're going to open up your console, you're going to type in alias, and once that's open, you just need to type in uh, whatever you want the name of it to be. So just for an example, I'm going to type in noclip. We're going to type in plus noclip, sorry. In quotes, just type in noclip. Then you're going to type in alias again. Do negative noclip space noclip. Now we're going to bind V to plus no clip. Now what's going to happen is if you're holding it down, if you're holding V down, then you'll be no clipping, but as soon as you let go of V, you'll stop no clipping. Which, uh, this isn't very, uh, you know, useful for no clipping, but it's, you know, it, it, it's just kind of the basics that you guys can understand. Now, there are lots of commands like speed. Uh, there are lots of plus and minus commands like plus speed, which is going to make you run. Um, it, normally, it'll limit you to how much you can run, but I've disabled that, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a little while. So you can type in negative speed. So what we're going to do, though, is we're going to do a uh, we're going to do another alias, but this time. We're going to do what's called something called bullet time. I'm sure most of us. We're going to type in alias plus B time. And then we're going to put, we're going to type in, uh, we're going to type in a quote. And we're going to type in a uh, host underscore time scale point 50. And then we're going to press this little button. We're going to make one of those right there. And what's that? What's that? What that's going to do is it's going to uh, separate from the it's going to separate from the next command we're going to use, which is fizz underscore time scale point one. All right. Now we're going to press enter, and we're just going to copy that last command because the uh, uh, you know that way we don't have to keep typing everything in, and then we just got to change uh, plus b time to just negative b time post underscore time scale should be one and then fizz underscore time scale 
should be one. Now alt doesn't do anything right now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in bind alt plus b time. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create an NPC, which is, uh, yeah, that's another command that I gotta show you guys. I'm gonna type in impulse 101 in the console, which will give you all the weapons from Half-Life 2. So now that we've got our, our weapons out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wall run over here, which is another thing that I'm going to have to show you in, the, in another tutorial. But what we're going to do is we're going to type in npc underscore create, npc underscore zombie, and we're going to do that one more time. Underscore create npc underscore zombie now I suggest binding uh, uh, binding npc underscore create npc zo underscore zombie to a key but now here's actually another trick before uh, I show you the, the bullet time you're gonna open up the console you're gonna type in bind c quotation mark npc underscore create space npc underscore zombie because npc underscore create npc zombies is just one command. It's saying create the npc uh, zombie. And you know, the, the title of the, of the zombie npc is npc underscore zombie. So what you have to do is you've got to type in bind c npc uh, with quotations npc create npc zombie because there's a space in between them. And it'll think that you're talking about two commands or two keys. So once you've got that done, you can just tap C. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type. We're going to uh, hold down Alt, and we're just gonna shoot the zombies.